Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode on the new save file. We are jumping in again. We're on a one streak. This is this is the start of the streak, people. This is the start of the streak. And to start it off, I'm going to play as Andromeda. This is where we get a ton of wins. Uh, Andromeda, of course, isn't a character that I typically play super well on in terms of, yeah. <laughs> Not getting hit. <laughs> Good start. Oh, it's a... It's a joyous start today. <laughs> oh, Lord. Um, much larger hitbox and spectral tears. I mean, it already has spectral tears, so I don't think spin down would have done much. But, I mean, it's it's nice. To, I'm pretty sure we already had spectral, right? But the, the larger hitbox is kind of nice. I don't know how useful it's going to be, but it's it's nice. But, yeah, I'm going to say, not, not a great start getting hit twice in the very first room. Seems to be a, a Turtle Melon classic that does. That seems to be a Turtle Melon classic. But we'll probably go Dark Path here by the looks of things. Uh, see what we can unlock. I kind of like how Andromeda looks with a Pila Duplex, to be honest. It kind of looks pretty cool. Um, let's be careful around these guys. Mainly the, the headless versions are kind of a lot more dangerous than the regular versions. Because they can spit out little fires. But they can also kill themselves, which is kind of nice. Um... A three cent sack is definitely appealing to me. Yeah, keep this guy away from me. Yeah, I... I bloody knew that was gonna happen. Yeah, things things ain't going too hot for this boy right now. As for the question of the day to day, um... What's something that you never thought you'd see in your lifetime that you already have? Like, it could be technology, or it could be just, like, a piece of news or something. Like, what's what's one of those things for you? There wasn't a soul heart in here, was there? If there was, I need to buy it. <laughs> no, there isn't. There is, however, a pretty good spacebar item. There's very, very little chance of me getting 14 cent from bombing my donation machine, to be honest. Very little chance, indeed. I could gamble. I have to fight against this guy. I don't really know how to feel about this guy. Let's take out the little dudes first to give ourselves some breathing room. Uh, main, main thoughts about this guy is he can be a little laggy, so we've just got to play around that. But he's not particularly that hard. He's basically just little horn with a little bit of spice. A little bit of added spice. Only thing I'm noticing at the minute is that our kills are relatively... Like, our damage is relatively bad at the minute. We're killing him pretty slowly. It's not ideal. But we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. I'm hoping for a HP up here. Um, like, give me a squeezy, maybe. Squeezy would be pretty good. Bit of tears, bit of HP. Bit of walking into an enemy. Don't know how I avoided damage there, but... Let's just accept the fact that we did. And um, we did get HP. It's unfortunately not squeezy, though. Do I want to gamble on the donation machine? It's it's a pretty hefty gamble, I've got to say. But I think it's... I know I'm absolutely abusing my donation machine, but I can refill it fairly easily. And I say, it's it's fairly worthwhile. We didn't actually get the money we needed, but we did get a decent amount, and we got a secret room, which could give us the rest of the money. Unfortunately, said thing did not happen. Um, right, let's grab the sack, then. Pretty worthless. Uh, I'm going to gamble here. I know that my HP is valuable, uh, but I'm going to gamble with this fool card and pop in here and see if we can get anything worthwhile. Um, this kind of screwed us. If this had blown up, it would have blown up all these rocks and been able to access all this stuff. So we got kind of unlucky then. We don't have a spare bomb either. Do we have a bomb available for purchase in here? Because it is worth going back in if we do. We do. Okay, let's let me, let me, this this might be a terrible idea. If this doesn't work, I'm going to be kind of annoyed, but I need to try this. Um, I come back in here. I bomb this now. There you go. Okay. I'm going to get hit by this purple fire, aren't I? Yep. <laughs> Saw that one coming from a mile away. Anyways, eh, it was it, it was a thing. We did something. Didn't go particularly the way I wanted it to, but there you go. Down we go. Down we go. I'm trying to, to play as right as I can. But this character leaves a little bit to be desired. 
Now, I can't remember how we... I think I think um, with this character we can gravity shift in item rooms to like undo the item room, gear the planetarium chance, and change the room into a planetarium type room, an abandoned planetarium, which could give us good stuff or could give us nothing. It's more often than not, not much. This, this poop enemy is really brutal. I find those two guys really difficult. They just spawn so much of those little poop guys. These dudes, they spawn so many of them. When we're taking two hits to kill them, it's not ideal. Get out of here, you. Good. Right, I might go to the shop here and try and get a, a soul heart because um, health isn't where I'd want it to be right now, particularly. Um, and we do have three keys, so it seems relatively worthwhile. I mean, especially bad when I just decide, you know what, there's some creep there. Just stand right on it. Ah, oh, that was a terrible bomb push there. Right, let's go check it out, because, I, I, yeah, I'm going to die if I'm not careful. No soul heart available. Booyah, baby. That's what I like to see. Just kidding, it's not. I'm crying inside. Anyways, one thing I'm not crying about is later this, uh, today, I'm going to be going out for lunch with a, a work friend, and I'm going to probably one of the best places in, um, in the city I live in. It's... Called Mackie and Ramen. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> the start to the streak is not going well. I'm just getting hit so much right now. Uh, to be fair, I feel really weak right now. I guess. <laughs> right, what we got here? Yeah, so this is a gravity shift opportunity. Um, all pills are good pills is, is pretty nice. <laughs> pretty nice indeed. Um... But yeah, it's this ramen place that's just opened recently, and oh my god, it's goddamn amazing. Like, it's absolutely fantastic. I'm having such a hard time hitting things at the moment. But yeah, Vega is pretty good here, but honestly, with only one soul heart currently remaining, I'm not super confident we're going to live long enough to see it do anything. This might be a, a hot restart of a run. We shall see. This guy doesn't help. I realize I can use gravity shift as well outside of combat. Dude. So I could just do this. It's, it's, not, it's not that useful, I don't think. I think this guy is going to be an absolute pain in the ass, you know. I really, really would like to see, if I survive this fight, I'd really like to see a decent damage up or, like I said, a squeezy or something to bring my HP back in line with... Where it should be. I'm trying to take out the little dude first because that makes our life a lot easier, but it's not always plausible. Especially when he's shooting at us constantly. Okay, we got it, we got it. That makes our life easier. Ask and you shall receive. <laughs> We're definitely going angel deal at this point. Oh, that feels good in my heart, that does. Oh. You ask for Squeezy, and you shall receive a Squeezy. Beautiful stuff. Little bit of fire rate. Returns our health back to basically base HP, but you know. <laughs> I'm not gonna I'm not gonna complain too much right about now, because uh Oh god. Oh no. <laughs> oh, these bats, man. I was like, okay, this'll be fine, this'll be fine, and I just kinda backed myself into a little hole. Vega's proccing reasonable amount of times, though. That's nice. Something, at least. Good. Really struggling right now. This guy has seemingly very low damage, and I'm just not able to hit a lot of my shots right now. I need to play him a little bit differently. I'm not playing the best right now. Right, let's keep it moving, though. Keep it moving and grooving, as I always say. I do like how it looks with the Papilla Duplex with the uh, tears filtering around me. We do have a 45% planetarium chance now, so we are in a good place for that. Oh god. Don't get farty with me. Ooh, this room's a bit rough. Do you know what's more rough about it? The fact that for some reason, these little dudes, the way they produce blood on the floor creep, is really laggy, and I don't know why. Right, taking care of most of them. 
It's annoyingly go headless as well, but we can deal with it. Right, take care of this last one. There you go. Makes our life a lot easier. Got to be careful at this, at this point, though, because the knockback on these guys is insane. I'm just going to knock them all over the goddamn place. Ah, oh, bitch. So that's Squeezy. Squeezy saved our life, but we've we've squandered what we gained, essentially. Truly squandered. Anyways. Oh my god. These rooms are evil. I don't know how I didn't take damage from this guy then. I need damage. Our damage is so pathetic right now. <laughs> It's okay, I'm having a good time. The struggle buses are kind of fun sometimes. You gotta you gotta think about things differently. I mean, I've gotta play a lot better. I mean, that's clear. I've taken just an abhorrent amount of damage thus far. Okay, so let's pop in here. See what's popping. Um damage. It does give us a tears down. I don't want the tears down. I'm gonna do this. And yeah, I knew I'd Back in regret it. That was sad. We do get a soul heart in here. Restocking the shop is not super useful. Does up our planetarium chance at least. But yeah, that, that mushroom's good. But honestly, I can't take a tears down right now. Even for a damage up. I knew that was going to happen. I was going to destroy one of those fly poops. Right. These guys are going down pretty quick. I've just got to watch out for the goddamn fly, you biatch. I knew it was coming and I still took damage to it. Okay. All good on that front. We get a blackout of this. Ugh, this runs This runs rough right now. This runs rough. We've not got anything super stellar so far. I'm, I'm hoping our first angel deal is what really changes the tune for us. Or our first planetarium it could be as well. Right, these things move in ways that confuse my brain, so let's try and take care of them swiftly. Boom, boom. Okay, we're getting a lot of bombs. We should probably be looking for secret rooms at this point. In fact, this is a Stephen floor. Secret room could be here. I'm going to check elsewhere first. Stephen floor I'm not super interested in. I need my uh, planetariums and stuff, and I don't think I can do that on a floor that doesn't have item rooms. But yeah, I don't care about you creating more of these fellas. I'm just gonna take them out. Okay. Secret room could actually be down below us here. Oh God, that guy kind of curved around to me there. Ooh, dude, these these snot boys are a uh, little tanky. Everything feels a little tanky when my damage is like this, to be fair. Quickly check this out. Damn. Uh, I could pop into that guy for a potential HP up on mapping. I think it's probably worth it, to be honest. I've got enough money to potentially get it. There you go. Compass is decent enough. We did get a planetarium this floor. Compass is really nice for knowing if there's a planetarium, actually. This is going to be hell on earth. There's a lot of explosives going on right now. Right, Planetarium, just don't be Soul or Mars. If you're Soul or Mars, I will throw down. Ne um, what's, what's the other one as well? There's the gassy one. That one's also bad. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Secret Room's right here. It's not. Okay. All righty then. Oh my god. Kind of didn't really pay attention to you. Probably should have. Pills are always good. Let's take pills. Look upgrade. Very nice. Oh my god, I'm having such a hard time even hitting things now. Good. Another good pill. Feels like I'm I don't have a fucking key? Ah, oh, this game better not do this to me. It better not. If I don't get a key this floor, I swear to god, game. Spider unboxing. I will be very upset with you, game. You know that to be true. Oh, ha 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 ha. 
Oh, goddamn, this room. Spacey. Oh, it's very spicy. Don't, don't you fucking dare, game. Don't you fucking dare. Don't you dare even not give me a key. I will turn this bus around. Don't you do it to me. Come on, this room. Oh, that guy. So hard to kill. These keeper heads are also pretty hard. Oh! You're a shit game. <laughs> You're a grade A shit. Oh my god. Good golly gosh. I can feel it happening. Right, secret rooms are my, my only path of recourse after this. Yeah boy, we knew it was going to happen. Right, so secret rooms are pretty important to us right about now. Um, Could be here. It is here. That ain't what I'm looking for. That ain't what I'm looking for either, but I'll take it. There is a machine here that could potentially give me a key. I'm going to expend my other options first. Do not like the amount of spiders you've decided to give birth to. That is something I'm not a big fan of. Oh, bugger you, you big fat lump of crap. This is too many spiders for one man to deal with. Dude, <laughs> this guy is wrecking me. My damage is so pathetic. Move towards me, you big cook. There's, there's still another boss left, mate. <laughs> this isn't even it. This wasn't worth it for one soul heart. <laughs> I already lost that one soul heart. <laughs> Why did I make this deal? I can't fucking hit this guy. If I get hit even once by this guy, this this has all been for nothing. It's already been for nothing. It'll be for less than nothing if I get hit. Right. Just die already, big boy. You know it's coming. Just just let it happen. There you go. You little fuck. <laughs> this game, man. Alright, let's find second secret room. Um. Okay, okay. F first of all, let's go into our arcade and bomb this. Spider unboxing. Ah, yeah, man. Right, then we find our second secret room, which will be... Probably... Over here. Not over here. Where the hell would it be? Where the hell would it be? I mean, you, you know what's going to happen, don't you? I'm going to spend all this goddamn time trying to get a key, and I might finally find one, and then the boss is going to give me latch key. What, what does blowing up these machines do? Nothing. Resources are running a little thin today. Right, this machine must pay out. <gasps> a key! A whole new world! Right, we, we are going to skip out on item room, though. Sadly. Sadly, we are. But... Paternus is pretty good stuff. Okay. Okay, you've given me an inkling of hope. The Ternus gives us a little bit of extra damage upon entering every room. It also allows us to block some shots and turn them into our own, which is also quite nice. Now we've just got to not take damage in this room. In fact, I'm going to bomb you just to speed things up a little bit, because you seem like a real dickbag. 
If only I could stop putting myself in so much fucking danger. <laughs> okay, we got him. Latchkey? Not latchkey. More bombs. No stats yet again. Okay, so killing enemies without taking damage upgrades you... Honestly, are we ever going to get to use that? I think we'd, we'd rather go for this, because when am I ever going to not get hit? I'm sorry, but it's just not going to happen. Um, I guess we go at this point. It's a bit sad to leave some stuff behind, but... I like the way we have this now, like, ring of various shit hovering around us. No second planetarium, which I think can happen with this guy. There's only a 10% chance, though. Only thing with these skulls is they do kind of fire in the direction you're facing, so we're not always going to get to use them. I've got to kind of line myself up to make sure I can make use out of them. Okay, we got a key there. Did you see that? Did you see that? We might need an instant replay, because I don't know if people will generally believe that that happened. Now, this is a pretty decent setup now. We've got... We've got some stuff going on. I like all the bouncies. Let's crack this bad boy open. Basically, just got our um, exact money back, and that's it. In here, we get Bloody Gus, which I'm going to gravity shift. Regret that immensely. Oh my god, I regret that so much. Oh my god, I regret that so much. I was like, eh, I'm, I don't, I don't want to take something that promotes getting hit. Should have just fucking taken it, shouldn't I? You goddamn goose. <gasps> oh, golden pill could be amazing. Unless it disappears in like three uses. Bombs are key, balls of steel. Okay, so far the stats really haven't been... Like we've okay, range up is our first stat we've gained. I'm really hoping for tears up here. Okay, whatever. Game goddamn hates me. <laughs> Dude, come on now. I want to see what the shop's like before I get him to fully pay out. Which I know is going to be greed anyways. So I should just use my money. But if I use my money, it won't be greed. So. It's just one of those runs. Turned this man into gold. He is a boot. Kill the boot. More bombs. <sighs> Okay. We're making our way. It's just it's just a very solemn run so far. It's a very solemn run. Wow, I've never had one of these things hit me, I don't think. Get goldifies you. A bit more money for me. Thank you. I'm, I'm liking the uh, the freezies. The freezies are nice. More money. That can go to the beggar, I guess. Um, I guess it's useful. Add. Yeah, it's probably pretty good. Giving us three luck right now. Could be seen as valuable in some cultures. Alright, give me that. Let's go, sh let's go like, poop on this kid. 
see if he gives us another bit of mapping or some HP. HP's actually looking okay now. This 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 run's not terrible. We just we so far haven't got any stats from the boss apart from a bit of range and a tiny bit of fire rate from Squeezy. Um and um we we don't really have any flagship items apart from maybe Virgo and Saturnus. They're decent. The skull things they're they're good, but they're they're sort of iffy. They're not they're not guaranteed value. Good, good. I mean, like I say, I'm, we're killing rooms reasonably fast. Saturnus is definitely helping a lot. Having those 70 is already charged up when we enter a room. I think they do slightly more damage as well, the Saturnus ones. That's kind of nice. I'm liking out blue brimstone. This fucking attack, man. Why isn't he dead yet? Why isn't he dead yet? Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Sweet, sweet damage up. What the fuck is that devil deal doing there? I'll just check it anyways. I'm really tempted to take both. Right, the monster in the room with the lowest percent health takes more damage from your attacks, will not target full health enemies. Plus one damage, plus range. Isaac's tears can be controlled mid out. What, what out of these two would be better? I'm gonna take... Takes more damage. How much more damage? I'm gonna take this in the hopes that it's better. I could gamble and take them both. It's a huge, it's a huge gamble if I do. Like an absolutely huge gamble. That I'm willing to take. Right. Now, I've got to play out the rest of this floor. Not get killed by this fly right here. Wait, is this awful? Is it just me or is this absolutely awful? What's happening with my tears? This is terrible. <laughs> Okay, this is, this is... I think I've killed myself here. Oh, okay, so no second secret room there. Hmm. I didn't expect this to be as bad as it is. What the fuck's the second secret room, game? Don't be like this with me. Yeah, why can't I like shoot my tears now? <laughs> this is terrible. Oh, I've ended my life. It's fine. Let's let's just do this and see what happens. Oh god, this is this is real bad. <laughs> I can't hit things. <laughs> what the fuck is this? What have I done? What have I done to my run? What have I done to my run? Second secret room, where art thou? Here, maybe? Where the fuck is it? Is it here? I'm just waste all my bombs looking for it. I'm so confused. Where the hell could it be? I'm genuinely currently perplexed as to where it could be. Maybe off the back of the shop, the room below the shop? Potentially? It's got to be here, right? It has to be. Yeah, there you go. <gasps> oh, sweet baby Jesus. Right, if I can get one more penny from somewhere, which I can from right here. This is how we do it. 
It's Friday night, and I have fucked my run. <laughs> I, I don't know what I expected to happen when I took this item, um, the Eye of the Occult. This is not what I expected, I will definitely say that with 100% certainty. I did not expect it to just nullify my ability to aim. <laughs> So basically now, to do damage, I have to like, create a bunch of tears and run them into an enemy. Which is actually working reasonably well right now. Also this Eye of Balor seems pretty strong. It seems to be like double damage maybe? I wonder if it works on bosses. If it works on bosses, we in the money baby. We in the money. Apple of Baphomet, whatever the hell it's called. Apple of Sodom, that's the one. I'm thinking of Sigil of Baphomet. The Onk, I'm sorry, but... Dude, these rooms need to be better, man. I, I probably should have used Misprinted Joker, to be honest. It definitely works on bosses. Good to know. What the hell was that brimstone? What the heck is even that? Okay. Don't know where I'm going. Panicking a lot. I think I might die. But I min-maxed so I won't. The game will reward me for my min-maxiness. My skulls are doing some good stuff happy with that. There's a card in here of some variety. Oh my god. Taking out these guys is just pain. <laughs> the skulls are doing a pretty good job of it to be fair. Good old troll bomb for our efforts, thank you. Oh, what the fuck is this sort of room? There's all these little midgy things that I can accidentally hit, which I am going to accidentally hit. I can't not hit them. Ain't this some shit? Just hit him. Thank you. Oh, gold is kind of nice here. We did a lot of damage there. Holy. <clears throat> Thank you for the soul heart. We'll be heading on our wayward son now. Right, this runs not awful, but pretty abysmal. <laughs> I need to open these. Not what I was looking for. Although... I will take this. Yes, that's what I was hoping for, baby. Right, Wrath. Gives us another 30% damage bonus, essentially. 10% for every broken heart we have. So you're saying there's a chance. This Eye of Balor seems good too. We're getting a lot of bonus damage here. The Skull seems to be stuck, I'm not quite sure what's wrong with him. Ah, but is he is he just broken now? Is that just his life? That's gonna be sad if we just don't get to use that skull anymore now. Maybe it'll reset on the next one. Okay, it seems to have reset. Oh, he managed to yeet that right onto my head. Well done, sir. I could defour this whole whole shebang. I could. It's certainly tempting, but I'm sticking with it now. I've built something I'm somewhat proud of.
Don't go eating these fellas. Make our way straight to the boss. Probably should pick up that um, bomb, to be honest. Brimstone bombs can be pretty useful. Yeah, try and collect some brimstone bombs here. Realistically, I should take the D4 as a Hail Mary when I'm on 1 HP, but... Misprinted Joker seems better. Maybe I'll come back for it. Dude, how is this the wrong way as well? Game absolutely jabated me here. <laughs> right. Keep this going. Oh, bugger. I mean, the black heart helps kill everything, but that's not what I was hoping for there. Dude, this is the wrong way as well. This map is jabating the hell out of me right now. It's annoying. Careful of all the little shots coming at me. Okay. Come on, dude. Thank you. Boss is so fucking far away. Ooh, a chest. I mean, I guess that's something. Some extra spurders for us. A lot of these enemies are hanging about. More blood. More spiders. It's a shame these are all going to get used before the boss. There's a dime there. I don't really need a dime, do I? Right. Boss time. Oh, it's Skolix. Is Skolix still broken? Let's find out. I don't think so. This is not broken this time. We're dealing damage to him. Oh, dude. I'm going to get hit again. Fuck you. Uh, I actually want that. Okay, I think I Hail Mary D4 at this point, right? I'm on half a heart. I've got to basically hope I get some HP ups and stuff. This is a decent run, but I just don't think it's going to live. Let's Hail Mary D4 and see what happens. We gained no additional HP and we've turned into a glitched cube. Um... Hmm. We have Terra. This is pretty bad. <laughs> I think this is actually worse. Oh, and also, we still have three broken hearts. Right. Let's not fire so I don't kill myself with a goddamn polyp. Right. I don't know why I'm a black glitched cube here, but let's go down to the next floor and probably die where we stand. I regret my D4 shenanigans. Terror is definitely going to get me killed. Being a big black cube is not helping either. Hard to see what's going on. I can't really dodge very well. Yeah. I don't know how I didn't get hit there, I'll be honest. Yeah. What? And a flight. I forgot. <laughs> Just walked over the spikes. Well, anyways, that was tragic, but enjoyable. Um, as I said, we're starting the streak today. So this is our beautiful streak of one. This is why I don't play modded characters when I'm trying to streak, by the way. Because it just doesn't work. <laughs> Some of the modded characters, like, I really love Andromeda. I think he's very well designed. But I will say that if you have a bad run, and so you want to gamble using your... um 
using your gravity shift, you can get so screwed where you just get no items. And it didn't happen that bad this run. We did get a few pretty, pretty awful uh, pulls with gravity shift. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.